Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Muamla and these are the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on December 2 chaired a meeting on the cyclone-related situation in the country. The meeting took place after the Indian Meteorological Department issued an alert for the formation of a cyclone which is expected to cross the coast of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. COVID-19 cases of the Omicron variant have been detected in India. Both the cases have been reported in Karnataka. The patients are men aged 66 and 46. Owing to the rising levels of air pollution in Delhi, Gopal Rai announced that all schools will remain closed till further notice. The apex court gave 24-hour ultimatum to center Delhi government over vehicular pollution. Amid COVID-19 Omicron variant, Care Government of India mandated passengers arriving from at-risk countries to home quarantine for seven days. Passengers arriving from at-risk countries need to undergo RT-PCR tests on arrival. And now news and details. The Hornbill Festival, which began yesterday at Kisama in Kohima, entered the second day today with cultural extravaganza, various traditional games and colorful travel dances. Earlier in the morning program, Arunachal Pradesh Tourism Advisor Laisam Simai graced the second day program as guest of honor, while North Frontier Railway General Manager Anshu Gupta was the special guest. Speaking at the event, Gupta said that the railway connection to capital is expected to complete in next three years. Meanwhile, the evening program was graced by the Principal Chief Commissioner Income Tax, NER, Ministry of Finance, Department of Revenue, SH Shyam Kumar, and hosted by Minister Timjan Imna Along and Advisor Pukhavi. Let's have a look at the detailed report. <laughs> I call upon our guest of honor, Sri Laisam Simai, MLA and Advisor, Tourism, Government of Arunachal Pradesh. Thank you, sir. Our special guest, Sri Anshu Gupta, General Manager, North Frontier Railway. The beauty of Nagaland has been showcased here in this Hornbill Festival. I'm really blessed to be here. Aru ahadin tibi ami ahi thakibo, aru ami bishi kushi. And I really want to thank my friend and my elder brother, Honorable Advisor Tourism, Yep Tommy Sahab, for all the uh, bless, love and care that has taken care of me for the last many days. I really want to extend my gratitude to him. I also want to thank my friend, my brother, Kito Zimomi, Commissioner Secretary, and entire team of Tourism Department and Culture Department for wonderfully arranging this festival in such a beautiful way. Thank you so much for everything. Jai Hind, Jai. The vibrant culture and heritage which each of the tribe carries. And I have already requested the state government that the architecture of, of each of the station must reflect uh, the heritage, culture, the design aspects of that particular tribe and we are working closely with the state government to depict all these things in the stations which are coming up in this beautiful state. So we will see, we hope that not only Nagaland progresses but in the process the entire country progresses. So long live Nagaland, 
Long live Hongville Festival and long live all the 16 tribes of this great state. I, I thank each one of you again. Thank you so much. Today, they will be performing for you a folk dance. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kerini Pita is used to test the agility of the dancers, especially the youth. The dance <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming the Hakchang Village Cultural Troupe representing the Chang tribe. You can see two lines. One line has the seeds behind and one line is where the player comes up. He will hold a stone and try to hit. He will try to hit the seeds with the stone. Ladies and gentlemen, today, the Garos of Nagaland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as a mark of adolescence, she will be tattooed in her lower jaw and forehead. As she attains maturity, the first thing that occupies her mind is to complete her mark of tattooing. The Nine Ompu by the Konya tribe of Nagaland coming for you. The Nine Ompu. A demonstration of a folk song and dance which speaks greatly about the peace familiar with the word champo or the moro, these are traditional dormitories where young boys resided before marriage. I call upon our guest of honor, Sri Laisa. After Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani's Kala Angres remark, Delhi Chief Minister Arwin Kedrawal on December 2nd hit back and said that his intentions are not black. His complexion has turned black in the sun and he doesn't fly in a heli helicopter like Charanjit Singh Chani, Kedrawal said. Everybody knows his intentions are not black, Kedrawal said. मैंने ऐलान किया है कि हमारी सरकार बनने पे पंजाब की हर महिला को हजार हजार रुपए देंगे तब से चन्नी साहब मुझे बहुत गंदी गंदी गालियां दे रहे हैं कुछ दिन पहले उन्होंने कहा कि केजरीवाल बहुत सस्ते कपड़े पहनता है केजरीवाल के कपड़े सस्ते हैं मैं उनको कहना चाहता हूं कि मेरे कपड़े जैसे भी हैं मेरे को तकलीफ नहीं है लेकिन मैं हजार हजार रुपए जब अपनी महिलाओं अपनी बहनों को माँ बेटियों को दूंगा उससे वो नए सूट खरीदेंगी मेरे को उससे खुशी होगी अपनी माँ बहनें जब नए सूट खरीदेंगी उससे खुशी होगी कल उन्होंने 
मेरे को कहा कि मैं काला हूँ मैं उन्होंने मैं उनको कहना चाहता हूँ कि मेरा रंग काला हो सकता है मैं मानता हूँ कि मेरा रंग काला है मैं तो गाड़ी में जमीन पे पिंड पिंड में घूम रहा हूँ धूप में मेरा रंग काला हो गया आपकी तरह मैं हेलीकॉप्टरों में नहीं घूमता आपकी तरह मैं आसमान में नहीं रहता In view of the extreme air pollution situation, the Delhi government in an order issued on December 2 informed that all schools in the national capital will be closed from tomorrow till further orders. Speaking to NA, Environment Minister Gopal Rai said all schools in Delhi to be closed from tomorrow till further orders due to current air pollution levels in the city. दिल्ली के अंदर काफ़ी लंबे समय से चूंकि स्कूल बंद थे तो ऐसी संभावना दिख रही थी कि प्रदूषण के स्तर में सुधार होगा उसको देखते हुए ही स्कूल खोलने का निर्णय लिया गया था लेकिन अभी पुनः जो है जो हालात दिख रहे हैं उसमें प्रदूषण का स्तर बढ़ रहा है तो उनको लेकर के सरकार जो है उन चीज़ों को लेकर के लगातार मॉनिटरिंग कर रही है और अभी आज ये अभी सरकार ने निर्णय लिया है कि अब स्कूल दोबारा बंद कर देंगे कब से बंद कर रहे हैं कल से जो है स्कूल बंद कर दिया जाएगा फर्थ ऑर्डर तक सभी क्लासेस कल से बंद रहेंगे कल से सभी स्कूल बंद हो गए डस्ट पोल्यूशन को लेकर के व्हीकल पोल्यूशन को लेकर के आ, सरकार लगातार काम कर रही है आ, जहां तक स्कूलों की बात है उसके लिए अभी निर्णय लिया गया है कि स्कूल को जो है कल से बंद किया जाएगा Welcome back and now moving on to the next news. The Supreme Court on Thursday expressed concern on rising air pollution in Delhi NCR and granted 24 hours deadline to the center and Delhi government to come up with a serious plan for implementation of pollution control measures. A bench of Just Chief Justice of India and Viramana, Justices D. Y. Chandra Chut and Surya Khan asked the center and Delhi government to take a hard look at the situation and come up with a solution. The Apex Court noted that several directions issued by the Commission for Air Quality Management in national capital region and adjoining areas are not being implemented at the ground level and said that in an emergency situation, you have to work in emergent ways. Bihar Minister Jibesh Kumar got angry after his car was stopped in assembly premises by police to give way to the SP and DM. The state minister demanded their suspension. मंत्री को रोक करके ये खड़ा कराते हैं। जब एसपी और डीएम आते हैं, तो मिनिस्टर को ये रोक देते हैं और ये खड़ा कराते हैं यहाँ पर। ये अधिकारी हैं यहाँ, जो खड़े हैं। इनकी सस्पेंशन होगी, तभी मैं सदन में जाऊँगा। Former Mumbai Police Commissioner and Senior IPS Officer Parambir Singh was on Thursday suspended over irregularities and lapses. Earlier in the day, a magistrate court had cancelled its proclamation uh, order against Singh in an extortion case registered against him in Subban Gorgon. The Maharashtra government said that during this period, Singh shall be paid subsistence allowance, Dearness allowance and other allowances as admissible under Rule 4 of all India services. 
Rules 1969 on production of certificate that he is not engaged in any other employment. It also said, during this period, the headquarters of Singh shall be Office of Director General of Police, Maharashtra State, Mumbai, and he shall not leave the state headquarters without obtaining the permission of the Director General of Police, Maharashtra State, Mumbai. Another officer, Parag Manere, the then DCP of Thane City, has also been suspended along with Singh. He is also accused in a criminal case. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on December 2 presented scholarships to 12, 17, 12 like 17,631 students. The state government dispersed scholarships worth rupees 458.66. The Chief Minister also interacted with the students virtually. The Chief Minister said he is glad to be dispersing scholarships worth rupees 400. 58.66 score to 12 like 17,631 students. The UP government will try to transfer the scholarship amount to the rest of the students by January 26, the student minister said. आज मुझे प्रसन्नता है कि 12 लाख 17 हजार 631 बच्चों की स्कॉलरशिप जिसमें 458 करोड़ 66 लाख रुपये आज सुल्क प्रतिपूर्ति के रूप में उपलब्ध कराई जा रही है मैं इसके लिए सभी जितने भी छात्र छात्राएं हैं जो आज स्कॉलरशिप प्राप्त कर रही हैं और जैसे कि मैंने यहाँ लखनऊ में भी मेरे साथ पांच छात्रों ने यहाँ पर आकर के और लगभग बारह छात्रों से मैंने छात्र छात्राओं के साथ मैंने स्वयं यहाँ पे वर्चुअली संवाद बनाया है और जो मुझे बताया गया कि इस स्कॉलरशिप से इन बच्चों को अपने पढ़ाई को आगे बढ़ाने में बहुत अच्छी मदद मिलती है ये शासन के लिए प्रसन्नता का विषय है मैं इसके लिए आप सभी छात्र छात्राओं को हृदय से बधाई देता हूं, आपके अभिभावकों को भी हृदय से धन्यवाद देता हूं जो आपके स्कूल भेज रहे हैं जिन छात्रों के जो बच्चे बचे हुए हैं हर हाल में हमारा प्रयास हो कि इन्हें हम फरवरी छब्बीस जनवरी तक स्कॉलरशिप हर हाल में उनके अकाउंट में भेजने की व्यवस्था कर लें Two COVID-19 cases of the Omicron variant have been detected in India, the Health Ministry informed today. In the first confirmation of the coronavirus strain within the country's borders that has triggered global alarm, both the cases have been reported in Karnataka, with the patients being two men aged 66 and 46. The Health Ministry said the two cases of Omicron 
were detected through genome sequencing effort of Indian SARS-CoV-2 Genomics Consortium. Consortium of 37 laboratories established by Union Health Ministry, said Balram Bhargava, Director General of the Indian Council of Medical Research, at today's same press briefing. Around 29 countries have reported 373 cases of Omicron variant so far, said Love Agarwal. Secretary Health Ministry, the Omicron variant was first detected in Southern Africa and since then has spread to nearly 2,000 countries. The Indian government has already implemented strict measures for international travelers to check the spread of the new strain. This is all for now. Keep watching Humble TV.